<sighs> oh, that. Merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. The most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the Darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. I think not. I am made of pure rock, skin to core. At best, I can become a pile of dust, but a smear I will definitely not leave behind. That's for softer, squishier things like itself and its friends. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. Ah. Oh. Yes. Its adventures are interesting, even if the chances for success are remarkably slim. Does it wish me to leave? I can, though I see no reason to go. No doubt. Without me, it would have to carry its inventory on its own. Perhaps we should continue. Yes. 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 you say. There, I thought I was. I thought it was all over. Everything. I. I will explain everything when we are back at camp. Now is not the time. It has begun.
Thank you. I, I didn't expect the band's men to notice my escape so quickly. I tried to hide here in the woods, but there wasn't time. And now I'm a dead man. You were there in Ostagar. You know how things went. For me, it was either this, or die in some dark spawn's belly, or... or be hung as a deserter. I dare say most people think the same of you and me, if not worse. I fled the battlefield when Loghain betrayed us. Make her. All that time in Ban Loren's prison. And I couldn't stop thinking about all they suffered that one dark night at Ostagar. I know. Even had Loghain's men not turned their backs on us, the Darkspawn were too many. The King entrusted me with the key to the Royal Arms Chest. If anything were to happen to him, he said, it was vital I deliver it to the Wardens. He didn't get the chance. Duncan was so busy with the new recruits and keeping Loghain at bay. Whatever his reasoning, it's me Kaelin entrusted it to. The Maker has a sense of humor, doesn't he? I suppose it's for the best, however. Had I kept it, it would be in Ban Loren's hands by now. But you said Kaelin entrusted it to you. I was afraid. I thought I would lose it on the battlefield, so I stashed it in the camp. Please, it's probably still there. The key's behind a loose stone at the base of a statue. You'll be taking me along, won't you? Call me sentimental, but I left behind some dark spawn that really deserve a sword through the middle. The events at Ostagar still haunt my thoughts, Warden. It is vital that the King's documents do not fall into the wrong hands. As for Merrick's sword, it is too powerful to be pawed at by those monsters. I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier. You should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. Remember my apprentice, Petra? She encountered a demon in the tower. It would have killed her had I not intervened. I saved her life that day, but I did not survive that encounter with the demon. Let me explain fully. I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. I took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. The Fade contained spirits, both benevolent and malicious. The, it was one of these spirits that saved me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. Yes, that we will. What's on your mind? I have always had an affinity for the spirits of the Fade. As a child, I never feared my dreams, because I knew they were there. I could sense the demons, too, and their presence frightened me. I've always been able to feel the spirits, even if I never saw them. I began to notice every time I was in the Fade, whether it was in a dream or in magical practice, that I was being watched. I suppose they must. It is these benevolent spirits that create our dream worlds in the Fade. 
Sometimes I would see it, a glowing, nebulous form. Most times I would just feel its presence. I think it is a spirit of faith. It always felt like the same entity. This one spirit was curious about me and was guarding me, for want of a better word. There were times when I was in the Fade that it seemed to stretch forth to shield me, keeping me safe. And I think it gave me strength in my most terrible battles, Ostagar being one of them. I don't know why I was chosen. I like to think that I was given a rare chance. And I'm going to make the best of the time so generously given to me. I will not lie motionless in a bed with coverlets up to my chin, waiting for death to claim me. That is not the death for me. And so I will fight alongside the Grey Warden and help prepare him for the task that is yet before him. So you had better listen to me, because I swear, if I should fall before the end and you don't seem to be doing things properly, I'll get up again to give you a good finger-wagging. You know, I think you'll be all right, even without my help. Here I am. Oh, this should be good. Go ahead. Well, the crows would have you believe that it is an involved process that takes years of training. Survive that process and maybe, just maybe, you're good enough to start being considered one of them. But quite frankly, the truth is that all it requires is a desire to kill people for a living. It's surprising how well one can do in such a field. Within the crows I did, but it has been something the crows have devoted a great deal of time to perfecting. An assassin simply specializes in striking from stealth. Debilitate your foe, either by poison or by crippling their limbs, makes any follow-up combat you need to engage in that much simpler. See? Getting paid for the act is beside the point. Of course, the crows like to pretend that their abilities are trade secrets. So let's just keep this between you and me, shall we? Hmm? Here I am. Oh? This should be good. Go ahead. Oh, you wish to know about Antiva, do you? The only way to truly appreciate it would be to go there. It is a warm place, not cold and harsh like this for Elden. In Antiva it rains often, but the flowers are always in bloom. Or so the saying goes. <sighs> it's not really a matter of wanting to go back. I cannot go. At least not yet. I hail from the glorious Antiva city, home to the royal palace. It is a glittering gem amidst the sand, my Antiva city. Do you come from someplace comparable? No? That is too bad. If you were, then surely you would spend as much time boasting about it as I do. Hmm. You know this most odd? We speak of my homeland, and for all its wine and its dark-haired beauties and the lilo flutes of the minstrels, I miss the leather the most. <laughs> it may as well be, but not this once, no. I mean the smell. For years I lived in a tiny apartment near Antiva City's leather-making district. I grew accustomed to the stench, even though the humans complained of it constantly. To this day, the smell of fresh leather is what reminds me most of home, more than anything else. Oh, not so long, I know. It is my first time away from Antiva, however, and the thought of never returning makes me think of it constantly. Before I left, I was tempted to spend what little coin I possessed on leather boots I spotted in the store window. Finally, I thought, ah, Zevran, you can buy them when you return as a reward for a job well done. More the fool I, no? True, and it's a comforting thought. One simply never knows what is to come next. How could I have suspected I would end up defeated by a handsome Grey Warden? A man who then spares my life? I could not. Hmm, perhaps that was a poor choice of words. Uh, true, though it is. Do you object? And glad I am to hear it. 
Now, if it is all the same to you, I would prefer not to speak more of Antiba. It makes me wistful and hungry for a proper meal. Here I am. Oh, I... I swore to the crows that the things they taught me were to remain a secret. And while, yes, they are already angry at me, I'd rather not push things, you see. If you are truly insistent, well, let me think about it. Here I am. Oh, this should be good. What? What do you need? Ask away. Yes. 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 draining. I called forth the spirit that sustains me. It seemed a good idea at the time, if a little rash. I think it may have weakened the spirit a little. Well, I suppose I shouldn't be using that particular trick to entertain children at parties. I promise I'll be careful. And thank you. And here we are, Soldier's Peak. Maker's breath. Look at the size of her. What a fortress. I told you the map would get us through the tunnels. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. I wasn't lost, it's just that the map got soggy. Bah, we're here. So, I'll follow you about from a distance. This place has the stench of death. I expect there's trouble up ahead. Soldier's Peak. Looks like it's in better days. Better centuries, more like.
Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hold up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. Starve them out. But the peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. What, what was that? I felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. How is that possible? This place truly is haunted. The veil? Demons? Thank Andraste you came, Warden. <sighs> After you. are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! I won't lie to you! The situation is grim! Our forces outnumbered! Our bellies empty!
has begun. <laughs> 